Hello Joyful Tribe and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Please pardon my voice, I've got a bit of cold. Today we are making Nigerian fried rice in its very authentic form, yes. So keep watching if you want to see how easy this is to make. Alright, so to make your Nigerian fried rice, you will need rich broth. I'm using hard chicken, it's been washed already now in a pot. I'll go in with some green seasoning. I'll leave a link on how I made that in the description box. Next thing is some onion. I like to use white onion for my fried rice, but feel free to use the purple one. I've gone in with some curry, thyme, bay leaf and salt. Go in with your grated garlic and ginger at this point. I added mine a bit later. So now I'm going to stir really well to combine. Cover and let this steam cook for about 15 minutes without adding water. For me, I strongly believe that fried rice tastes better with fresh vegetables. So I always like to use fresh vegetables for my fried rice. I have some spring onion already cut, some liver cooked and chopped, green beans, peas, some um, green bell pepper, very nice in fried rice, some sweet corn, some scotch bonnet pepper for that heat, use as much as you can tolerate. I have some grated garlic and ginger here, some carrot as well, see how vibrant that color is. And some onion, like I said, I like to use white onion for fried rice, but use any one that you prefer. Alright, so it's been 15 minutes, we're going to now check on the chicken. Give this a good, good mix. Add water, you want the water to be at the same level with the chicken. Cover and cook until it is done. In case you're wondering, this is grated garlic and ginger. Remember I said you should add yours earlier? Yeah, so I'm going in with it now. Stir that in, cover and continue cooking. So at this time, I'm going to fry the liver. I like to fry this separately because trust me, that oil is useless. I don't like to use it for anything else. So fry the liver once it is dry, scoop it out and set it aside. Who will agree with me that there is no Nigerian fried rice without liver? You can decide to substitute with chicken, beef, but if it is not liver, it's not very Nigerian. <laughs> Alright, so at this time, I check on our chicken. It is cooked. Take the chicken out of the stock. Sieve the stock and save it. We'll need it later. Next, I'm going to fry the chicken. You may choose to bake in the oven or air fry the chicken if you prefer. But when making meals like Nigerian fried rice, Nigerian jollof rice, building on flavor is very important. After frying this chicken, I'll scoop some of this oil to fry our vegetable for the fried rice and also fry the rice. So you see, we're building on flavor. Now, so you want to fry your chicken depending on how dry you want it. This chicken is not very fleshy, so I didn't want to make it dry. Kakaraka. Scoop it out once you achieve your desired texture. Continue frying until everything is done. Next, I'll fry the vegetable for the fried rice. In a pot, I'll go in with some of the oil I used to fry the chicken and then add some grated garlic and ginger. Let me tell you, your fried rice needs ginger, especially ginger. It will enhance the taste of your fried rice, ginger and white pepper. So you want to fry this for about 10 seconds. You don't want that to burn. Next, I'll go in with some onion. You may choose to fry the onion, but I like to do it this way. Add the onion, add the pepper, the green bell pepper, and the green beans i don't mind these frying down so i like to fry these ones first for about five to seven minutes to season i like to season lightly as well i'm going with some thyme chicken seasoning and some white pepper you can add some curry powder or turmeric if you prefer i prefer the grains to just pop so i don't tend to use a lot of curry powder for my fried rice This was seven minutes later. I'm going to give this a good stir and you can see it is looking really good. All right, so today's hug is for Lady Esther watching from Nigeria and Tolu watching from the UK. Thank you for leaving me that beautiful comment. Please let me know where you're watching from so I can send you a hug in my next one. All right, now I'm going to go in with the peas, the sweet corn, the carrot and the liver. Season if necessary. I went in with a bit more all-purpose seasoning and salt. Very small. You don't want to overdo it. Cover and let it come together for just one minute. The steam will do the rest. You don't want to lose that crunch, you know, in the carrot. Remember, we are still going to 
fry everything together at the end so you want to make room for that if you are still watching this is a good time to please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't thank you About a minute and a half later, this is what we have. Stir and take it off the heat. So now I'm going to cook the rice. First, I go in with some of that oil I used to fry the chicken. Once it heats up, I then add the very well washed rice. I soaked this rice with boiling water for 7 minutes and then washed multiple times with salt until the water ran clear. That way your rice is al dente, alright, you don't want your rice to be soggy. So if you are parboiling, be very careful. What I'm doing now is stir frying this rice for about 7 to 10 minutes so that the rice comes out grainy number 1, which in turn will prevent your fried rice from going bad easily. Once you achieve that, this took me around 10 minutes, I'm going to now go in with my already sieved meat stock. I didn't want all those particles from it, I like it nice and clean. Now for the liquid, you want to add the liquid gently, you don't want to add too much. You don't even want the liquid at the same level as the rice, no. Add it little by little, cover and allow the steam to do the remaining part of the job. You can cover with foil paper if you prefer or just cover the lid tightly. Taste and adjust with seasoning if necessary. I went in with a bit more chicken seasoning. Stir and cover for it to do its thing. Fifteen to twenty minutes later, I check on the rice, and trust me, this rice was ready. It's not hundred percent cooked at this point; it's about ninety percent done. I left that room because I'm going to stir fry at the end. You also want to cook this on medium heat so it doesn't burn. I'm cooking in a wide enough pan and the quantity is much as well so I'm not going to be frying small small with a frying pan. I'm going to go in now with our fried veggies and stir fry on high heat from this point until everything is well combined and properly locked in. If you're doing this in a small batch you can you know use a frying pan to stir fry little by little until everything is done. For that extra shine and taste as well I like to finish up with some butter. Continue to stir this until the butter melts and everything is properly locked in. Finally, I'll go in with the spring onion. This brings this freshness to this meal. I love it. Stir and take it off the heat immediately. Our fried rice is ready. Did I also mention that this meal can serve 20 people? Yeah, 20 guests. If they don't eat overfeed, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you prefer to pair your Nigerian fried rice with? I prefer mine with coleslaw. Share yours with me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye.